Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for being part of this channel and taking the time to subscribe. All right, let's get to this. This is Philippe. This is Rena. Rare to have two systems so close together. Twin systems are almost identical in strength. I want to get to the tracks and the models on both of those ahead. Now, here's what happens with systems like this so close together. They compete for the environment. They're going to see which one is going to get stronger. One will get stronger. One will get weaker. And what looks like it's going to happen happen as of now. First thing is that high pressure is way over here. That's a good thing. That's a blocker. If you had high pressure here, that would allow these systems to move into the Caribbean. So at least there's a window for them to go to the north, although it would be nice to get some rain in here. We really need to fill up some of the uh, cisterns and spots with that. It looks like here's Philippe, here's Rena. It looks like Rena is losing out at least as of now. Rena has been weakening a touch and it looks like it may kind of curve, kind of curve around uh, Philippe and then lift up to the north and move away. Now, if that happens, if Rena gets out of the way, then Philippe could feed off of the rest of the environment. It has it to itself and it could get stronger. Philippe at this point has a better chance of being a hurricane, but then eventually also moving away. Now, with that said, it is rare to have two systems so close together. So the forecast is still in question as a whole. It's a trickier forecast, but what I'm seeing is Rena moving away first and then eventually Philippe trying to take a turn to the north. Bigger picture, Gulf and Caribbean quiet for now, but there could be, I do believe there will be development next month. That's almost a guarantee uh, in the month of October toward the Gulf and the Caribbean. So we'll get into that. Now, let me show you what's happening here. So here is Philippe and here is Rena. Now, let me take you out in time. And as I mentioned, uh, as of now, Philippe trying to win out. So Rena right there should make a little bit more of a turn to the north. And as it does, it should weaken. Now, here's the Caribbean. So of course, keeping an eye on how close Philippe does get. Philippe is going to kind of wobble around. So I'll see if it does spin any showers into our direction. I'll be watching that carefully. Now here's Philippe. Let me take you out in time. This is by the time we get into late tomorrow. This is our Saturday evening. Philippe kind of holding its own, drifting a little bit to the south. That may squeak a couple showers over toward Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia and Barbados. As this just wiggles to the south, Rena kind of rotates around it and starts to lift up to the north. So this is late tomorrow. If we start to see that happening, everything would be on track from there after. So if Rena lifts to the north, then eventually Philippe would be able to get stronger. And you see it here depicted on this model. This is by Sunday night, by Sunday evening, Rena moving to the north, kind of falling apart. It's even hard to see at this point. So that means Philippe would be winning out. Philippe could take hold of the environment and get stronger. And if that happens, if Philippe is able to kind of clear Rena away and get stronger, then it should lift to the north away from the Caribbean. This would be by late on Monday, but by late on Monday, a strong tropical storm, and it looks like it would be able to become a hurricane. So if Rena kind of falls apart to the north, Philippe is more likely to become a hurricane, and that could happen as soon as Monday, and then lifting up to the north, and keep an eye on Bermuda as well, then Philippe would lift to the north, Rena said and done with. Some of the moisture gets absorbed into uh, Philippe, and then Philippe would kind of drift up here by the middle of next week. Still a wait and see, obviously. Very tricky forecast when you have two systems together. That is not typical. And then watching these old fronts back here to see if we have any spin-ups next week. We're going to start to see it getting active in the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. In October, uh, usually you get uh, systems that form close to home. Always a concern. Looking at the seas, these are in feet. And you see the seas, this kind of green shading here. That would be 5 to 10 feet close to the northeastern Caribbean for the seas. So we're looking at about 3 meters in this 20 plus fee, we're looking at six, seven meters in that. So seas are gonna be building, even some of those swells working in to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, east coast of the United States as Philippe will eventually get stronger. So that's the thinking now. Now, let me show you the tracks. Hurricane Center seeing that as well. Philippe almost a little bit of a drift to the south and then eventually lifting up to the north and strengthening, and then it could become a hurricane. And you see that in the models. Here we are, here's the Caribbean right here. So Northeastern Caribbean, right here, you've got Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, a little drift to the south, and then so at some point, it should kind of make its way back to the north and then strengthen. Now, the system behind it here is Rena. Rena is just gonna kind of curve around Philippe the next couple days and then turn into a tropical depression. Point being, 
it should fall apart. So that's how it stands with the environmental conditions. Now, right on track with the model data coming in, little curve to the north and falling apart, and then just kind of diminishing after that. There could be some changes. If they are, I will let you know. So at this point, northeastern, eastern Caribbean, we're just monitoring. There could be some extra showers. If Philippe drifts a little bit closer to Barbados, that could spin in a few more showers for many of us Sunday and again on Monday. So watching that for you as we pull forward. Now, we've, uh, we're really getting through the list of names. We're up to Rena. Only four more names on the list. I do expect a few name systems in the month of October. Hurricane season goes through November. If we get through the list, there's a, a secondary list that kind of kicks in, another name of list. Now, October is usually still very active, uh, but as I mentioned, that's close to home stuff. Not as active in November, uh, but usually uh, there could be a spin up uh, in the Atlantic in November. So long way to go in the hurricane season. I'll continue to track it storm by storm. Central America, El Salvador, heads up. Guatemala today, we could see some slides, flooding a concern. Belize, it's gonna be more active through the Yucatan, watching over toward Honduras and Western Nicaragua for the possibility of flooding. Already some storminess, nothing really organized out here though in the Eastern Pacific. So you see it here, look at this in Central America, rain and storms scattered about in Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago. Boy, we had a couple heavier storms yesterday in Trinidad. We could see more showers and storms scattered about today, but Costa Rica, Panama, watching out for flooding you see it there, Guatemala, even some rain tonight. This is as we work our way into tomorrow, still very active here. So the concern for flooding in Central America. And then watching Philippe trying to get better organized out here. And it can rotate in some showers, Montserrat, Saba, St. Kitts and Nevis. We could see a few extra showers. We'll see how south it drifts on Sunday. That could draw a few showers a little bit closer, even to St. Lucia and Barbados. A wait and see. It's just going to kind of wobble around the next few days. So Jamaica, the next few days, a 50% chance of storms, 50% chance today in the Cayman Islands, a 40% chance for tomorrow. 30% chance today in St. Lucia, a 40% chance for tomorrow. Barbados, 20% chance today, up to a 40% chance by Sunday. 50% chance in Trinidad and Tobago. If you get a storm with our daytime heating, that could be strong. And we have been so hot in spots. Limited chance of a passing shower in Grenada, a 30% chance the next three days, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A 60% chance today in Belize, there we go, with that higher chance of rain, 40 to 50% chance in Dominica. And as we get back towards St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, isolated shower storm up to a 40% chance by Sunday. A 40% chance today, Antigua and Barbuda. A 40% chance today, tomorrow, and Sunday in Puerto Rico. Heat advisories in place. U.S. and British Virgin Islands passing showers possible with kind of that flow coming in around Philippe the next few days and those higher seas. Anguilla, 20% chance today, up to a 30% chance for this weekend. 40% chance today in the Bahamas, 30% chance through the weekend. Pop-up shower storm today, St. Martin, Sebastia, building a little bit through the weekend with that spin of Philippe sitting off to the east. 60% chance today, Yucatan and Mexico, back through Cancun, there's going to be some showers and storms. Turks and Caicos isolated as we get through the weekend. Some afternoon storms in Haiti holding at that 40% chance, 40 to 50% chance this weekend. The Dominican Republic, 50% chance the next two days in Cuba, 40% chance on Sunday. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire once again, mainly on the dry side, very limited chance of a shower. 40% chance the next two days in Guadeloupe, about a 50% chance on Sunday. And that rain chance holding at 30 to 40% the next few days in Martinique. The high chance of rain though, Costa Rica, as I mentioned Central America, we have that chance of flooding, 40% chance of scattered storms in northern Venezuela, and that rain chance has gone down in Guyana and Suriname. Rain chance only 10% in Suriname. It is going to pick up on Sunday. We're going to see a system coming off the east coast of the United States that'll clip us by in Bermuda. We'll have a better chance of rain starting Saturday night into Sunday. So watching how close Philippe gets, some extra rain is possible. Uh, Rena likely to turn north uh, first, and then I'll monitor those fronts that could give us a spin up in the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean. Thank you for being part of this channel. Have a good rest of your day.